Hi everybody, this is what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm actually going to show you how to do two bows, one for long hair and one for short hair. And I learned this technique from a YouTube guru, her name is Bino Sumo... I forgot, but I call her the Bino girl. I'm pretty sure I butchered her username. But she does all these cute uh, Japanese hairdos and it's so cute. And I was inspired to do my own because her tutorials are in a foreign language. So if you guys are interested in learning this technique, then keep on watching and I'll also put her link uh, down below so you guys can check her out and subscribe to her because she does the best hair tutorials. Okay, so just so that you guys can get a better view of what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using a white hair tie so you can see. But ideally you want to use a black hair tie or a hair tie that matches your hair color. And what you're going to do first is divide your hair in half, like this. And then you just want to brush your hair to one side. So just like that. Then you want to grab your hair tie and loop it around your hair once, like this. And then on the second one, you just want to put a little bit in like that so you get a little ball and your thumb is sticking out then just want to put the hair back on this side or turn the rest of it to this side uh, pick up the hair tie again and twist it and pick up the rest so as you can see how the white hair tie goes it should look like this and then you just want to pull the rest back, like that. And this is the basis for your bow. And then, it's kind of lopsided right now, so what you have to do is take bobby pins and pin it down. So for this side, this bow, I'm just going to go like that. Pin it. And then, same to the other side. Okay, so that's how it looks like with the white hair tie. Now I'm just going to undo it and show you guys one more time using my black hair tie. So, brush your hair again. I'm going to grab my black hair tie. And... Tie it once like this. Twist it again. Pick that part up. Twist it. As you can see, it looks a lot better when the hair tie matches your hair color. And let's pull the rest of the back. Grab your bobby pins again. And pin your hair down. And if you have a bit of flyaways on the little one, because I have layers, so the little one's kind of sticking out more. All you have to do is grab some hairspray. Oops, and spray your bow in place. So here it is, all done. Now the next bow will be nice if you have longer hair like I do. And what I'm going to do is tie my hair, I'll grab the whole thing, and tie it all up. So grab your black hair tie and tie your hair really tightly. Like so. Oops. And then on the last one, from behind, Go like this and knot your hair through like this. So you should get something like that and then tie it tightly. Grab a bobby pin and pin it just like this. 
the part that's um, pinned the tail like that to the hair. And then divide this part like this. Make sure it's even. Hopefully I'll do mine evenly. And place it over like that. Grab a bobby pin and pin the back. Should be nice and secured. Then you want to grab more bobby pins and just pin the bolt down like how I did in the last one. That's all there is to it. It's really easy. And then with the tail part, you can tuck it in or do whatever you like. I'm just going to tuck it in this one. There you go. So I like mine like this. I'm just going to spray it all down. So this is the completed look. Just kidding. The girl I learned it from, every time she's done her hairstyle, she would do that because she doesn't show her face on YouTube. This is how it looks like. It's super easy and super fun and really fast to do. So hope you guys try this out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.